We got a red dot. Good morning, Akron, Ohio. This is Hank Forrester coming to you live once again on Akron's hottest and fastest growing show. Thanks for tuning in. And we're at a special location today. As usual, I'm always preferential to West Akron. And once again, I, we've got a new West Akron location we want to share with you. I'm here with Michael. Good morning. Morning, Michael, Akron, Akron, Michael. All right, we're at the Vintage Vault, okay? Uh, it is very interesting in terms of what they carry here. Um, and they are they are just now opening up a new location in Akron. They've been here about roughly two weeks now, right? New location two weeks. We've been in business over three years now. Okay, so three years. Now, as you can tell, he's got a little bit of a, a little bit of a, an accent per se. He is not an Akronite. So tell us your story, okay? Well, so I, I grew up in New York. I, I spent um, some time in Europe okay. and um, a few years out in L.A. And I, I came here from L.A. eight years ago. Okay. So um, about five years ago, I started in the business of buying and selling, even though it's not my background. Okay. I was uh, working for a guy in the uh, estate sale business and traveled. I did antique shows. I did um, uh, flea markets. And uh, I decided that I didn't want to be a carny and I wanted my own location, brick and mortar. So uh, I started with a partner, the Vintage Vault, uh, across the street from here three years ago. Okay. About a year ago, I had a partner, um, and I am now the sole proprietor. Okay. And i um, very happy to be here in our new 4,500-square-foot location across the street from our original. So we're at 1915 West Market Street, and things are going great already, but I'm looking forward to seeing more people, old faces and new faces, um, and sharing what we well, and, and I, had, I had been to the previous location, okay, and, and the word I would use would be cramped. It was just, oh, yeah. you, you didn't have a place, so everything was kind of on top of each other. So, folks, when you stop on out, and just so you know, this is right next door around the corner from our, one of our sponsors, Sheena's Platinum Movements, the dance studio that sponsors us. So, stop out, check them out. I'm going to walk around now, and I'm going to show you some of the stuff that's here, um, but just so, you, uh, just so you can tell the audience... How do you acquire your your how do how do you acquire your what you're selling? Well, all sorts of different ways. It started years ago with going to auction and flea markets to buy stuff. Um, and as the business grown, we buy out entire estates. We still go to auctions occasionally. Um, we have people that come into the store every day. I ask people to come Monday through Friday, not on the weekends because it's busy. But we buy stuff directly from the public. But um, Quite often, you know, uh, mom's been put in a, in a nursing home or a, an elder care facility, but dad's passed away, whatever it might be. Uh, we get the children coming in and saying, hey, um, I've got to get rid of the contents of the house because it's time to sell the house. And we help them to do that in a variety of methods from online auction to purchasing stuff direct to the store. Um, it, it's a, a multi-leveled uh, procedure to liquidate the contents of a home. Okay. Um, so we're, we're happy to help the public any way we can, but we, we buy in a myriad of ways. And, and, and the, the stuff that's here is just, it's all over the map in terms of collectibles and antiques. Um, so I'm just going to walk around and show you. But yeah, uh, you said normal hours, you're, you're open all week, but you prefer people to come in during, during the week because to it's To sell us stuff. You okay. can come any time to buy. Gotcha. Uh, <laughs> all so right, yeah, gotcha. we're open 10 to 6, Monday through Saturday, and 12 to 5 on Sunday. Okay, sounds good. All right, so I'm just going to walk around. Thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy. Good luck. All right, so folks, let's take a let's 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 walk around the room. Here, just to give you guys an idea of what they have available. And and I, you can ask me, but I won't know what any of the stuff is. So you can, you can just peek. And if there's something that you see that strikes your fancy, so Michael, Michael's going back to work. He's currently hanging chandeliers right now. All right, so let's just walk around the room. We've got some antique swords. Look at this eagle. Look at it. All right, I'm sorry, that's a that's a parrot. That's a parrot on a on a perch. Look at all this. Look at this. Look at that china cabinet. Beautiful. We got some antique chairs and a table here. Got some outdoor figurines. And again, the, the neat part about places like this is you never know what you're gonna find. So you just kinda have to come in and take a look. 
it's like, so he's got, he's got the bookcases and shelving cases all throughout, and each one of them has stuff that's in it, and the cases themselves are all for sale. You can see, let's, we're going to just kind of walk down all this stuff. Look at all this stuff. And again, this is a much bigger location than what he had across the street. He had, he had one across the street, and uh, the new place is um, Joseph. To to give you a, to give you directions, it's it's behind. Uh, it's it's near Acme Number One in in West Akron, and it is behind um, Walgreens. So right in that one of a kind pets area. The Walgreens store is there, and it's directly behind there. So I believe it's what used to be Shadell. This I think this was the Shadell Furniture store. It's next to Pier One Imports, and next to Sheena's Platinum Movements. Look at all this stuff. Look at all this stuff here. Just and it goes. The store goes all the way back. There's something you see. We've got a whole other room here. Look at all this. Oh wow. Vintage collectible toys. Look at all this stuff over here. Yep. Got another room over here. Looks like some, we got paintings in this room. Look at that. It's a Jesus on the cross picture. You don't see one like that every day. Take a look here. We got silverware. And again, look at all these. Look at all these cases. Look at all these bookcases and dressers, vintage. Look at this one right here. Look at the look at the detail on that. Wow. I get that to focus? Probably not. Yeah, there we go. That's amazing. Coats. Look at all this stuff. By the Akron Buse. Thank you, Christine, for looking that up for me. 1915 West Market. But as a landmark, it's behind Walgreens. Next to Sheena's. Next to our dance studio. Look at all this over here. That cash register probably weighs 600 pounds. <laughs> Who picked up the cash register? <laughs> I said, how much does that thing weigh right there? Oh, it weighs a ton. Um, <laughs> Probably 250 to 300 pounds. That's that's amazing. I they have one. Um, we did a story on um, Wolf Creek Tavern, yeah. and they're in Norton, and he has one in the basement that's just like that. And he's like, yeah, he's like, he's like, it's never moving again. No, it's not the heaviest thing in here. I'll tell you that. Uh, that's great. See the masks. It's the masks. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> Here's the back entrance. So there's two entrances, folks. So you can you can park out front or you can park along the side, either way. Um, and uh, come on in during the week. Check them out. What do we got over here? Look at that lamp. Look at the detail on that lamp. Couches, everything's so random. Everything's so random. Look at this Summit County Atlas from 1891. Check that out. Stark County Atlas, 1875. more stuff this way. Look at vintage books here too. All the vintage books. The best 
best clubs were over here, by the way. Okay. From the 1600s to the 1800s. Let's go look. Okay, 1600s. Wow. Historical books of Summit County. Now I'm assuming uh, you get you can't you got to be real careful with older books like that, right? Oh yeah, they've got to be handled very delicately. That's why they're under lock and key. Okay. Original Wizard of Oz. All right. So that's pretty much the store. Oh look at look at check these out. Look at these pipes. Look at all that stuff. Oh, oh, there's a whole nother case I missed. Look here. Look at that. Look at that pipe. Wow. Look at all that. Good year, Zeppelin. All right, so let's go ahead and wrap this up. Let me flip this around. All right, folks, there you go. Vintage Vault. Come check them out. Um, 1915 West Market Street. Open during the week. New location, and there's a lot of stuff to look at here. Come check it out. Um, let's see, what am I doing the rest of the week? I believe tomorrow I'll be covering a story. I'll be at the Rubber City Theater uh, to meet up with them uh, to talk about some local theater options here in the Akron area. And then later in the week, I'm going to be at Barmacy on Friday to celebrate their two-year anniversary and possibly maybe covering the hoban Maslin game. Haven't decided yet, but we're going to try and fit that in. Hey, until then, don't know where I'm going, but there ain't no sense of being late. Everybody out there, say goodnight, Shirley.